Welcome back Ridge Pounders to another video. So today I've been banking this for a little while. Been banking this this lure for a little while. We're doing a fishing video. But been wanting to fish with this for a while. Folks, today we got the river rat out. We're gonna try to catch a fish on it. I'm curious to see if we can even catch a fish on it. Plus, that's our first challenge. It's not a challenge video, but it's kind of a challenge video. Second of all, we got a small little secluded little creek, basically. It's a creek, but there's a few deep holes in it. We're gonna wait it and see if we can catch a fish on the sewer rat. So, I'm excited for this one. Y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. All right, folks, so we're getting into the creek here. We're going to wade up river a little ways. As you can see, I got my Spro BBZ1 rat on, and I'm gonna to try to find a hole big enough that has a fish big enough to catch a bass. I'm gonna basically take anything. Trout, bass, red eye. We just wanna catch a fish. All right, folks, so I do see a hole. I gotta get, I gotta be looking because if I get to a hole that I think might have a bass in it, I'm gonna have to take my time and really try to focus on catching the fish. Okay, we're coming up to a hole, so I think we're gonna try a few times. Try a few casts in this hole, it looks pretty deep, so. So I did see a fish there. I'm not sure what that was. So here's the thing with this creek. They do stock trout in here. And this creek, when the water level is up, this creek holds fish in it just in certain pockets. It holds bass. It holds trout. You know, red eye and bluegill, of course. Pan fish. So we're going to move on. I don't, I'm not getting anything. There's a little bit deeper spot and it's moving, which would be better for smallmouth. Okay, so nothing yet on the rat. I did have a follower, but I'm not sure if that was a bluegill or a bass one. Oh yeah, there's there's gotta be some bass in here. Probably not very big ones, but it's probably something in here. All right, so nothing, those two casts, we're gonna, you gotta be, when you're fishing these smaller creeks, you have to be a little more sneaky. You have to sneak in and on top of the fish because they're, they're already skittish because they live in shallow water. Especially in a little small creek like this that I don't think gets fished a lot. It does get fished a lot during trout season, but other than that, I don't think anybody really wastes their time on these creeks, but I like to get out and explore, find new places to fish. So that's why I wanted to come hit this spot. And that's what fishing's all about, is getting out and finding new places to fish. Oh, right there is a decent smallmouth, actually. Oh, he's not paying any attention to my bait, though. He saw me. See, that's why you gotta be very sneaky. All right, so no look in that hole. Oh, there's a little hidden hole back here. It's a little deep hole of water. I wonder if there's anything in it. I don't think there's anything in that hole. It just, I don't even think it's as deep as I, it appears. 
Right here's a deep little hole. Well, a deeper hole. Okay, so there's some good deep current coming up. That's where you find a lot of smallmouth at. It's right at the edge of the deep current. You know, the, the saying with trout is, if you find the bubbles, you'll find the trout, you know, so. It's also the same for smallmouth. I think I had a bite right there. It's hard to tell. My bait went under, so kind of like a bobber. It just kind of bobbed down. All right, so folks, I lost my bait. I got the rat that doesn't have a tail on it. So I'm not gonna catch any fish with it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I got, I got more baits in the truck. I just don't have any with me. So I'm gonna take some with me. We're gonna hop in the truck. We're gonna drive up here and see if we can catch a fish. So stay tuned. We'll be back whenever we get back to the truck. All right, so we made it back to the truck. So now we're gonna head back up there, throw some lures on this, put some in my backpack. We're gonna hop back in the creek. We're gonna wait up some more and see if we can catch any more fish. It's probably a good thing that I came back to the truck anyways because batteries are going dead in the GoPro, so I need to try to change the batteries and everything in that, so. We'll see you when we get back up there. All right, so we're back. Got, uh, got a couple baits with me. I didn't actually have any more trout magnets, which kind of sucks. But, I did find a rooster tail. This rooster tail really does work good with trout. And also in these small micro streams, you can catch some pretty good sized fish off of them. It's not just a small bait for trout and micro fish it's this thing will catch everything this hole looks so good i just i figured we would be getting to eat up in it Ooh. oh right there's one. Oh, that was a a uh, trout i wasn't paying attention i was looking at that there was one behind it too there was a trout behind it Okay, what's this, what's this? Bluegill, bluegill, got a bluegill on it. Okay, this is a orange-breasted sunfish. Nice. Okay, a little small bluegill. We'll take it, but there was another one that came after it, a bigger fish. So we might get them fired up in this hole right here. This looks super so snaky, I don't know about this one. I mean, I'm not afraid of snakes, but I'd, I'd rather avoid them if I, if I can. But I guess we're going. Okay, I just had a trout come out and swap at it. Oh, yes. That's a good, oh my gosh. I don't know if you could see that. That was a good trout. There we go. There we go, I got him. I got him. It's a good trout too. Oh, stay down, buddy. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Come on. Oh yes. Look there, guys. Looky there. 
Oh, oh no, he got off again. He probably just freaking killed himself. Oh, he's back. What a release. We caught him. We got him in our hand. That's a catch. That was a good trout too. I don't know if anybody could see that or not, but that was that was a good trout. There is several good trout in this little hole right here. Okay, so what I did right there is I could see him laying on the bottom and another trout came up and swirled at it. That was the one I missed that got, I hooked him and then he got off. I let that bait almost drop to the bottom before I started reeling it. And it came back up and trout typically feed up. This fish was feeding up and he came up and just absolutely hammered that trout magnet. And I let him eat it for just a second before I set the hook because I don't know if you can see, but these hooks are super tiny. I mean, that's this is what this bait's made for. It's made for micro fishing and creeks. So this creek flows into a, a creek that we typically kayak fish. All right, we're moving into a little bit swifter water here. Hopefully there's some deep holes. You want swift water? You want deep holes? Deep, fast moving water is some of the best trout fish and that's why they stock them in those creeks. Okay, all we got is a lot of creek shades. I actually just caught one, so. All right, so there's what a creek shade looks like. Well, see you, buddy. <laughs> all right, folks. We're up here at this little hole. It's pretty deep, but there's not a lot of rocks in it. I don't know if it's gonna hold any fish or not. It does look semi-deep, and there is a, a deep hole that kind of runs around the side. So we're just gonna give it a dangle and see. Right there's one. First cast up here. Trout too. Decent one, not, you know, not great, but decent. All right, folks, there we go. Get him back in the water, he's bleeding a little bit. All right, so, got a little bit deeper hole here. I'm gonna try it. Manners are eating it up. We, we have just about ran out of good water. I would love to spend all day on this creek. And if I had somebody to pick me up, I probably would, but I don't wanna to walk too far away from my truck because that's just the longer distance I have to walk back. We're already again about a half a mile like we was prior. We was about a half a mile from the truck, so we're not gonna fish too much longer.
All right, Ridge Runners, welcome back. So, today was all about micro fishing. Started out, we were trying to catch one on the rat in the creek. Still micro fishing because we were fishing in this small creek the whole time. Ended up having a few mishaps, lost the tail off my rat, and it quit doing the action that I wanted. Switched over to the rooster tail. Well, that's when we started slaying the fish. Got into some deeper holes, and that's what it takes whenever your micro fish, you gotta get into a little bit deeper holes. So we finally got into some. I think we caught four or maybe five fish uh, and one really nice trout and we missed another really nice trout. So that just goes to show you that when you go fishing in these micro creeks, you can catch decent fish. You can catch fish. And that's what it's all about to me. I don't care how big of a fish I catch. Yeah, I like to catch, you know, a 10 pound large mouth but a 12 inch large mouth I'll take a 12 inch bluegill which is a pretty big bluegill but I'll take a six inch bluegill I don't care when it comes to fishing because to me it's all about chasing the fish going to the places where other people don't go and trying to catch these fish thanks for tuning in go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like the video go ahead and smash that like button as well and give us a thumbs up because the channel's growing and I just want to bring y'all more good content so thanks for joining us here on Ridge Boy Outdoors we'll see you in the next video